I'm going to London tomorrow with my friend Stacy. We went to college together and did extracurriculars together. And now we're traveling for the first time together. And she's going through looking at the weather and letting me know how cold it's gonna be in London. On the 30th, it's uh, the high is 45 degrees, the low is 38 with a real feel of 20 sun. It's gonna be breezy and cold with rain. Places to go, um, whether they're like restaurants or like cheese bars, pretty much cheese. <laughs> Damn right. I don't eat cheese. Um, but places like a bookstore on the water, just whatever people suggested for places to go. You guys, Stacy is like low key, <laughs> like transcontinental <laughs> and knows a lot about London. <laughs> I've never been to Europe, I'm very excited. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm in New York right now. Stacy lives in Queens, and I met her in New York, and we're gonna fly to London tomorrow. See y'all in the morning. Good morning, I look very sleep deprived. Hey Stacy. Hey. We are calling the Lyft slash Uber, and we are about to get in the car and head to JMK. It's Lyft. And there's my mom. In a Whoa. towel. I have always wanted to go to London ever since I was a young lad. Um, I don't really know why. Like I think it, part of it was because I just saw it on TV a lot, but I think I just have like a weird fascination with it. Also, I just finished binge watching All of the Crown with my mother, and I just would love to see Buckingham Palace and all of the royalty-esque sights. Like I'm very intrigued and I'm really excited. Also, I want to find my husband. That part. One, two, three, four, five, that's hundred. Two, three, four, five, six. What just happened, Stacey? We got some bread. Hey. We're eating tonight. I am getting ready to knock out my little eye mask. It's bra, it's bra. It doesn't look a bra. It's because it's crowd. It's a brazier. It's a brazier, y'all. We finally made it to our Airbnb. Y'all, it is fucking freezing in London. Like you see, first of all, I've been in this house for like two hours, haven't taken my jacket off. Okay, I wanna show y'all this Airbnb. It's such a delight. So this is the front door. You walk in, here's the kitchen. This is like just what the living room looks like. Hey Stacy. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. So here's bathroom number one. Hey, bathroom number one. And then this is a cute little bedroom. Very simple, yet cute. Look at the ceiling, isn't it fun? Here's another bed. So this room has two beds in it, and then this is like the main bathroom, she said. I just love this little apartment. I feel like this apartment is so cool and like modern. I feel like I'm in Black Mirror or something. Daisy and I aren't tired. At all. And we have stuff to do in the morning. Like we should be up in about three, three and a half hours. It's a time difference. Here, yeah, it's like 4.30. So it's 4.30 a.m. London time. The which, midnight hours. Yeah, which is then about 9.30 p.m. LA time for me. The attempt. The attempt. It's also, we still can't figure out the heat, so. You see my set, you see my setup? <laughs> it's not a game. Okay. All right, y'all. I guess see you in a few hours. Night, y'all. It's late outside have yet to fall asleep. Do you hear the birds chirping? Fuck! Morning guys, it's officially day one in the London. As you can see, my hair is back. I put braids in it last night because I am gonna be going to a place that I follow on Instagram. They do amazing full lace wigs, and I've never really done a wig before, so I mean, I love this place's work, and they're located in West Kensington, so I scheduled a consultation to see if I can get a cool wig for the trip. So while we were on the way to the train, we decided to stop at Twin Coffee and get some nourishment because we're on the go and we wanna make sure that we don't pass out. So now we're in Camden Station and we are getting our Oyster Cars, which is like a one week travel pass. And we can use a good amount of modes of transportation on this card, right? Yeah, the tube, bus. Okay guys, so I just left A-list lace hair company and this is the wig that I got. Stacy 
convinced me to get the longer, more sleek look. Bitch! We just had Thai food, forgot to take photos of it or right. B-roll of it because we were hungry. As hell. But now we're rejuvenated, we're revitalized, and we are headed to go shopping to get some sweaters. Look at these non-escalators. Okay, so this is our first official day in London. I'm not really a mall person usually, but we're kind of um, shopping out of necessity and not out of like, ooh, let's find something cool and unique at like an actual mall. We need sweaters. We need sweaters. It gets really cold at night. Like last night it felt like 30 degrees. My nose was like puppy dog cold. Yeah. We stopped for some snacks to get nourishment. I got a coffee because I'm fading. Again, we only got like four hours of sleep maybe. Yeah. Maybe. So we are heading back to the apartment. But it's gonna take us an hour to get back, so. Yeah. Okay, so we were tired at the mall. But then I was like, also, why is this moving? <laughs> I was like, okay, Mal. So we were tired at the mall, but then we were on our way home and I was like, we might as well just get a drink. Okay, you guys, so it is actually like 2 p.m. London time. Um, I'm catching a cold. I have to knock this cold out because it's only day two in London. Right now there's tea brewing downstairs. I'm about to brush my teeth, shower, get myself together. Then we are going to venture out into the atmosphere and into the environment and into the rain. Mm. All right, y'all, so I somehow managed to pull myself together. Stacy pulled herself together as well. However, she wasn't looking deadly like I was this morning. I look like Inspector Gadget today. Yes. So there's that. We're gonna go to the Breakfast Club. And that's in Soho. Mm -hmm. So that'll be really fun. Yes. Come on, Superman, let's go. Yes. Give yes. me the walk. Yes. Naomi. Yes. You're so cool. So close to you. So we just finished our breakfast at the breakfast club. It is 6 p.m. Breakfast can be any time. It can. Um, so now we're just gonna like bop around the streets and then we're gonna go see the Avengers at the movie theater because we're no late. No more spoilers. Yeah, we're late. We're gonna go see Avengers and then afterwards continue the night. So this is Soho. This is, I don't know if it's Soho, but this street is Canarby Street, which is like known, like it's its own like known entity. Canarby Street. Also, you guys, Stacy is a renowned photographer, ah. and I want to talk about this camera that you brought. What's this camera? Um, this young Minolta. My dad used to shoot as well. He kind of passed it down to me. That's my baby, one of three babies, but I'm trying to capture some life, some portraiture. Get your faces and stuff. Capture uh, natural beauty. This kind of beauty, too. Hello. Yes. Look at Queenie, y'all. So this bathing suit, this bathing suit right here, obsessed with it. Well, I walked into the boutique and asked how much it was, and she said it's 295 pounds. And I was just like, no, no, no. I bought my wig yesterday. That was my major purchase for the trip. So I cannot spend like $400 on a bathing suit. But I love it, and I'm just gonna keep talking right here so I can just keep looking at the bathing suit behind my head. I haven't addressed this wig that I'm wearing today. <laughs> This is not the wig that I got yesterday. This is a different wig that I brought from home. Ordered it offline because I wanted a bob. A bob. Stacey has one similar, actually. I do. It's at home on its wig stand. Yes. I left her. I left Jamie at home. <laughs> so now we're walking into Chinatown. I mean, the vibes are very much like the Chinatown in DC. Yeah, definitely DC. Yeah. It's sunny now. We have our umbrellas for no reason, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're in the theater, about to go see the Avengers. Okay, y'all, so we just got into the theater and these are really nice leather seats. Look, look at this faux wood. We just finished Infinity War and um, 
emotionally shook. Now, let's talk about the movie theater. In America, every movie theater is freezing, right? Apparently, they don't really do AC because they don't really need it in London. Like, it's just the, it's just very mild temperatures, but especially in the movie theater. Very warm, very hot. I had to take my wig off in the theater. My vaginal area is moist. That's how much I was sweating because not only was it warm in there, but also the film just really got crazy. It got crazy. It's very draining. It's draining. Draining film. Yeah. Moist body. Uh, <laughs> cheers to night number two mm. in London. Yeah. It is 4 a.m. Yeah. Um, I'm eating porridge in the car, and I honestly don't really know what I look like. Like you don't find out in the daylight. I'm gonna find out in the daylight. But we had about an hour and a half of sleep. Really. Um. So, but we're doing it, folks. Live and direct. We're headed to Amsterdam. Whew. Whew. Stress. Yeah. <laughs> we are disoriented, tired, and sick. But you know, we are here. We are getting breakfast from Betty Blue. What did you get, Stacey? I got chicken and waffles. I got a breakfast pizza. I love a breakfast pizza. This part of town is so cute. We love it. They have a lot of vintage shops, lots of beautiful jewelry, cool antique knickknacks. It's lively. It's lively, people are out. I love it. The sun is just full throttle. Oh, it's just shining. So we just got into a cab and we are gonna go to Museum Plain, which is where the I Amsterdam sign is and hopefully where a bunch of other cool shit is. Something that Stacy noticed as soon as we got here was that they drive on the right side, on the side of the street. The street. Also, Every, it almost seems like there are more bikes that are used for transportation than cars. It's nice to see because it's like you see moms with like a bike for their two children. You see like Grandma grandmas biking. biking, grandpas biking. So we made it to the sign and it is a madhouse. We are leaving the I Am Amsterdam sign and we're gonna do a boat tour situation which I'm very excited about because I want to sit. We just got off of our lovely little boat tour. It was a hop on hop off situation so there's six stops kind of around the city and you can get off and get on whenever you want. Um, we stayed on the boat the entire time. It had a skylight. The sun was just cascading in, hitting this melanin. I told my body, Freddie, just close your eyes for a second. Take in the warmth. And then um, Stacy told me that I was asleep for an entire rotation of the six stops. So, but I woke up and I saw some stuff and now we've docked and we're gonna go to the flower shop. We wanna check out this cafe. So I decided to get myself an Irish coffee and I love this, me and Terry love Irish coffees. It's like one of our favorite things to drink. Shout out to you Terry, thinking about you while I'm out here. Also, they don't card out here. Like, they just, give me what I ask for. And that's like kind of all I want in life, it's just for me to ask and to receive without riffraff. <laughs> that was hot. Don't burn yourself. Ooh, it's good though. Look at my nose. Yes. Stacey, what'd you get? I got a cappuccino because I'm classy. Because you're a classy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm setting myself up by drinking this, but it's so good. You are, but it's all right. So our last stop before we head back to the airport is the flower market. So we are here at the flower market. Smelling the good smells. Smelling the good smells. I think the purpose of the flower, flower market is to hang and or buy flowers. Flowers, <laughs> yeah, and trinkets if you need them, but yeah. like, just chill. Before we head back, we had to stop and get some souvenirs. We got some tea and crumpets, some tea and cookies. So not just regular tea and crumpets, cannabis tea and crumpets. So tonight is gonna be uh, nap time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Stacy and I finally made it home. On the plane ride home, I utilized my wig to be a sleeping mask. And we're just, it's time, it's time. 
Okay, you guys, so I know I said we were going to bed like two hours ago, but then we really wanted to try this cannabis tea and we thought it'd be safer to try it at night when we have the ability to just go to bed as opposed to like tomorrow and not knowing how it's gonna affect us. It may be nothing. It may, yeah, it it may, may be nothing, but we're both just like mm -hmm. nervous. So this is what the tea bags look like. Very normal. I got white tea. Doesn't smell any different from Tea really? without cannabis. Now, are we gonna do the cookies as well? Oh, should we just do that? I, I'm gonna do a quarter of a cookie. So this is what the cookies look like. They look kind of oatmeal-ish. Okay, so tea first. Yeah, We're gonna do a little spoonful. That just one, two, two, three. This tastes like regular tea. Very regular tea. Yeah. Let's dive into the cookie. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. It tastes like something good. It tastes good. It's good, it just it tastes it's like, just, you know that something's in there. Yeah, it's just like, oh, these are special cookies. I just finished the rest of the cookie. I felt. The quarter of a cookie. The qu a quarter of a cookie. It's good. See, that's when it gets dangerous. This is what we look like at night, y'all. I mean, y'all know y'all be seeing my bonnet. <laughs> But, my bonnet's upstairs. I haven't re reached that level yet. But you got the little um, perm rods in. My attempt, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So are these like LA grade edible cookies? Cause I'm about to do a Google search before my battery dies. I don't know anything about like weed and cannabis, y'all. I'm, I'm a noob. Got, got the answer. What? So it's just there for flavor. This cookie contains no THC and does not get you high. Oh. So we're good. Well, no, I'm a little disappointed. I wanted to see right. stars. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to see stars. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Today, we are gonna head to Brixton. We're gonna go to a Caribbean restaurant for lunch, meeting one of Stacy's friends. Mm -hmm. you guys that Stacy is a world-renowned writer and photographer. She's also kind of a resident of London. <laughs> and she knows a bunch of people and all of her friends. Actually, I've met a few of her friends before in New York. Wait. So this is Riley. Hello, nice to meet you. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Omar. Stacy knows them just through, how did you meet Raee? The internet. And he reached out to me, but like, the internet and then just meeting in real oh, life. Oh, PR shit. PR yeah. journal relationship. But it was real, like, you know, it was real. It, it was real. real. It, it was genuine. Yeah. This is Whitney. Hello. She's actually from Brooklyn. She's right. She's Whitney's from, from New York. Yeah, she, she just has yeah. an accent now. Yeah. It comes out. Do you yeah. have one? Do you find yourself having one now? An accent. Like, I do I have a British yeah. accent? Not a British, do I have a British accent now? Say like the words I hate you in it. Yeah, yeah, accent is like dead yeah. center. That but Whitney is just now discovering and figuring out the fact that she has a slight British accent. <laughs> you don't sound like how they sound. Really? I think really? So. Oh. Oh. really? No, I still have that New York accent. I don't know what I'm talking about. She is like <laughs> so proud of you or something. I know you're like, no, don't yeah. tell me that. I'm so proud of you. Tonight, we're all gonna have a really good time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's Lionheart. Oh, 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 we gonna do you. First and foremost, I wanna say thank you on behalf of the to, I want to say the real housewives of New York and LA. The, the, the queens of the United wow. States of America, that is Stacy and Freddie. Oh. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Good early afternoon. So yesterday was kind of a wash, because as you all saw, we had a wild night. We're gonna go to Sky Garden, yes. which is like in the city of London proper. And it's supposed to be beautiful, beautiful views of the city. Lovely bar, restaurant situation. It was on our list of things to do that we were writing down when we were at Stacy's house. Yeah. So we're trying to get through that list as much as possible, it's but so hard. it's so hard. Like, it keeps popping up, yeah. in a good way. Yeah. So the freaking Sky Garden is closed. Tomorrow's a bank holiday, so they decided to close it on Sunday and reopen for the bank holiday, which feels kind of backwards, but I'm really sad, so we're gonna try to come back tomorrow. So today's a day from hell. Not really, I'm being dramatic. But I just realized that I misplaced or my credit card fell out of my bag, so I have to call and cancel it, but calling and canceling it from overseas is like a thing. So we're gonna meet up with our friend for drinks and dinner. We can find him. If we can find him. Because we are roaming around and no, try to get, way. try to get. <laughs> so this is a part we're gonna try to get him to call and help me cancel my card. Also, started my period today, so you know, vlogging will be sparse. All right, Stacy, we are headed to the airport. We're headed back oh. to Heathrow to go back to our respective homes. <sighs> I'm so sad. Let's talk about yesterday. Oh, we went to Super Duper Fly, but before that we went to lunch with a friend from college, from Howard, who came here to, to live. So we met up with her, and then we came to the party. A day party, a rooftop day, day party. A rooftop day party already. Yeah. Everybody was just a zoo because they they're had, so excited. Yeah, they had Monday off, and it was like 80 degrees out. The theme was supposed to be like 90s hip hop, but they ended up playing everything. Everything. They played like Caribbean dancehall, Afro beats. A perfect way to end our trip. So, like it could not have been any more perfect. Honestly. Yeah. I got my credit card back, thank God. We met so many awesome new people, hung out with old friends. It was perfect. It really was. We have to come back. No, seriously, like, we really, really have to come back because there's so many things we didn't even do. Stacy, this is amazing. We shall meet again in London. Oh, girl, we have to. And just also in LA and New York. But. Yeah. <laughs> All of those locations. Yeah. International, domestic, 